Greetings and salutations, my fellow baseball way of lifers. i uh, reporting to you from the home office here, uh, 50 miles southwest of God's Country, City Field. And just want to touch on a topic yesterday that got a good response. And I guess the question of the day was, Willie Mays is considered the best living player in baseball at the moment, past or present. Who would the second best player be? We got a lot of interesting... Uh, answers and i'll provide mine now uh, i got my bulletproof vest on so when you start firing i will be protected uh my first choice after willie and it may even be i hate to say this it may even be my first choice overall is barry bonds uh bonds was just phenomenal he was a game changer no hitter was feared as much as he was and he was a difference maker uh, my second choice, and again, I can hear the explosion, the heads exploding in three, two, one. Alex Rodriguez. What a stud of an athlete. Uh, could have been the greatest shortstop of all time. Sacrificed his position to go to third to satisfy the ego of Derek Jeter and played magnificently at third base. His problem, we all know that is he needed steroids to keep him going at such a great pace at an elderly age uh, and it probably did help his performance I'm not gonna lie but with or without steroids Alex was phenomenal uh, my third choice would be Michael Jack Schmidt uh, he was as good as they come and if you take away bonds and Rodriguez because of their steroid usage uh, There was no athlete That was as beautiful to watch play third base or any position infield position as Mike Schmidt His only flaw was the strikeouts, but he Was one of the most powerful hitters in baseball when home runs didn't really come that often and uh, He was just a pleasure to watch uh, Even being a Met fan. I couldn't help but enjoy Michael Jack Schmidt uh, after that, I'll go with Ricky Henderson. What a dynamic, exciting player he was. Ricky was Ricky, but if you look at what he did and all the records he broke, his on-base percentage, his hits, his slugging, there was nobody like him in the Lido spot. And there may be someone like that in the future, but I don't foresee it. Ricky was the ultimate leadoff hitter. And after that, there's a whole potpourri of players, and I'm going to go out on the limb, and people are going to say, whoa, 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 Uncle Stan, he didn't play enough games. But I'm going to say Mike Trout. Mike Trout is on the pace to be one of the greatest of all time, and he could very well be the best living player right now in baseball. Figure Willie Mays is 80 something right now. How can he be the best living player in baseball? That's an old yogi, I think, joke. Anyway, those are my top five. And let's have some fun here. And I'll scroll through some of the selections that other people have. Jim, I hope I'm saying your last name right. Rogberg, he picked Nolan Ryan. Nolan Ryan was a, a beast, a one of a kind specimen. And nobody had an arm as strong as his for so many years, but I couldn't pick him. I'm sorry, but good choice by you, and everyone's entitled to their opinions and choices. So if you like Nolan and anybody else that I mention, whoever you like, that's your choice, and I'm not going to argue with you. It's freedom of speech, and we're just going to go with it. We have Chris James Showers, who took Charlie Hustle, Pete Rose. Pete Rose, to me, is the equivalent of Nolan Ryan from an everyday player side, put up a lot of great numbers over his career, a great compiler like Nolan, uh, the ultimate team player, uh, got the most out of his ability, but I wouldn't pick him. I'm not going to say this after every player that you guys are, I'm going to mention who you picked, but you already know who I picked, so I'm just going to give a little comment on who you picked. Uh, Chad Odom is Ken Griffey Jr. 
To me, Ken Griffey Jr. is as close to Willie Mays as we got since Willie retired. And uh, a pure athlete. I mean, he was meant to play baseball and one of the sweetest swings I ever saw. We have Mark Drucker with Johnny Bench. Johnny Bench kind of revolutionized defense for a catcher. Uh, saved a lot of catchers from getting hurt with his one-handed approach, catching the ball. And what an arm he had. And to be on the red machine, he was a leader. And to me, one of the greatest offensive catchers of all time. You can never go wrong with Johnny Bench. It was sad to see him hurt later on in his career and had to play different positions besides catcher. Just goes to show you what wear and tear the catching position can have on a player. Uh, Alec Tessitore said maybe Yaz. And Yaz could get some consideration just due to the fact he had some phenomenal years when baseball was pitching dominant. And if you look dig deep into it, Yaz did put up some great numbers. And he kind of flies over. It's hard to believe, but I think he flies under the radar because he was so low-key and his approach was so steady. But I'm a big fan of Yaz. Uh, we have Ralph Tycho with Julio Gote. And I'm sure... Angel fans may disagree. Well, some may actually think Julio was a better angel than Mike Trout. But um, I'm sure Mr. and Mrs. Gote, Julio's parents, are proud of Ralph's choice. Uh, we have... I'm just going to pick someone who's different from who I spoke with. Spoke about, I should say. Uh, Mike Martin likes Sandy Koufax. No player was as dominant over a five-year period as Sandy. Uh, except for maybe Barry Bonds. And... If there was one pitcher that carried a team for a five-year period, it was Sandy. And Sandy was one of a kind, a late bloomer, and could do it all. Uh, we have up next uh, Dan Wiener with Mickey Mantle. Uh, Mickey was tough to leave off my list, but Mickey kind of passed away, Dan. But good choice if he was living. He'd be in one of my five, that's for sure. They didn't mean to pick on Dan. Good friends with Dan. Uh, but he did come back and say Bobby, uh, Barry Bonds. So he wins a point in my group. He's, not, he's willing to have stones cast his way too. And that's what we're all about. Us uh, Madison Square Garden former employees. Uh, we have Joseph Green with Ernie Branks saying Mr. Cubs. So I'm assuming that's who he meant. And yes, he was Mr. Cubs. And a great ambassador for the game. And played short and first equally well. Uh, great player. Rob Moldenhauer says Derek Jeter. Uh, I'm not going to argue about Jeter. I have my feelings on him. But for me, he's not a top five. But he, if you ever look at the greatest years the Yankees had during the Jeter era, were the years the Yankees won the World Championship. Even in 2009, he had, in the later years, he had a fantastic 2009. But every year that he had in one of his career best years, the Yankees also prospered. So, he can move and shake them. Delman Donnie Barwood says Reggie Jackson. And Reggie Jackson was a winner no matter where he went, so hard to argue. But uh, his numbers may not compare to the others. But he, the intangibles... Could point Reggie's way. And then Rod Carew, Raymond Wilfong, great header. I'll give him that, one of the best ever. And then we have Mike Trotter comes in with George Brett, one of the best pure hitters in baseball history. And... Ba -ba 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 -ba. And Dirk Hackett says Joe Mauer and tells us to ask anyone in Minnesota under 30. So when I get a chance, I will ask anyone under 30 from Minnesota. But Joe Mauer is his choice. And Michael Semi Jr. as Leo Foster. Uh, not bad as a Met fan. You know, 
great utility infielder for a last place ball club. Bartolo Colon from uh, No More of a Car. Core, I think it is. So uh, Bartolo is very happy to hear that. And he thanks you. Uh, Carl Morins is Brooks. I'm assuming Brooks Robinson. Uh, Mr. Defense at third base. And some people listed some. We, we got mentions of Mickey Mantle, Tom Seaver, Hank Aaron, Stan Usual. And they'd all be glad to hear they're alive. And we'll get a lot of repeats here. Mike Piazza. Solid hitter for a catcher. I'll just leave it at that. Hall of Fame player. You guys really responded to this one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And... Couple of misspells here, so Willie Pujols, someone mentioned the machine, and Randy Johnson from Juan Pablo Hernandez Cui. Randy Johnson was as dominant as they came, and a lot of Koufax mentions, a lot, and a lot of Ken Griffey's, a lot of Bench. Good to see. Reg Maddox gets a mention from uh, Griffin Harris. And Michael Murphy, I'll leave with Michael Murphy's choice of Choo Choo Coleman. And when you're mentioning the all-time greats that are still living, what a way to end it with Choo Choo Coleman. Thanks all for participating. Uh, if you like this video, hit like. And if you want updates every time I post a video, it, the uh, subscription is now called Baseball Way of Life to coincide with the group. Please do so. And you'll get alerted every time I post something. Have a great day.